folks. We're beginning a nice little reset yoga session today, which in yoga speak is referred to as a yin session. Yin and yang are representative of our, our, our principal energies of expression and rest or masculine and feminine. And so the, the yin class is a lot more surrendering into postures and really restoring length to our tissues by holding particular shapes for longer periods of time, three to five minutes. The, the biggest benefit of this is restoring our flexibility and letting go of stress in our body, but also at deeper levels. So that's what we're getting into today. And I invite you to take any nice seated position that feels right for you. And once you've taken that position, I invite you to close your eyes. And take a nice big in breath. And just letting your breath go in any way that feels right for you, ah, way that helps you release stress. And take another one of those big in breaths. Letting it go. Ah. And then just come in into your natural breathing pattern. Just taking a moment to really notice what is happening inside of you and letting go of any resistance. If you're tired, allowing yourself to be tired. If you're awake, allowing yourself to be awake. If you're happy, allow yourself to be happy. If you're sad, allow yourself to be sad. If you're stressed or irritated, allow yourself to be stressed or irritated. If you're calm, allow yourself to be calm. And as you're noticing these things, it's as though you have a, a little part of you like an elf on a shelf that you just set on your shoulder. And from that little awareness elf, you become aware of all these things that you're experiencing. And that awareness elf, this is a special mantra, and that mantra is, that's interesting to anything that comes into your awareness. And imagining what it would be like to relax through your forehead, your jaw, through the tiny muscles around your ears, feeling like your ear canals could relax and deepen towards the back of your mouth. Even feeling that relaxation, filling up your mouth, your teeth, your tongue. And you'd fill up to the top of your head. Imagine softening into your neck, your shoulders, down to your fingertips, through your chest, your belly, all the way down to your feet. Feeling the natural wave of your breath flowing so deeply through your throat. It was like it's flowing through your heart. It's like it might be kind of crazy to try to control the waves of the ocean. Noticing where you're trying to control your own breath. Seeing if you can just let it be.
And when you're ready, making your way to hands and knees. If you're sitting on a cushion, sitting it over to the side. Wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Just putting your toes straight back. You can even slide your feet together here, the inner edges of your feet, your big toes anyway, could touch. And then sit your butt back towards your heels. Before we do anything else here, just gently stretching the mat apart between your knees, feeling your hips activate coming online. Taking a big in breath. And as you exhale, lean your belly down over your thighs, even taking a little Cat vomit, metal singer breath, a little to help us zip those front ribs in. We're neutral through our thoracic spine, or towards it anyway. Creeping your fingertips out long overhead, feeling that length through your shoulders as we really start to settle into this child's pose shape. Grounding to the balls of your fingers, your under knuckles. Imagining there's a little egg underneath the heel of your palm. And don't crush the egg, but keep it warm with your palm. And see if you can creep your fingertips even further out overhead, away from your body. Like you're a zombie with no legs trying to crawl yourself forward with your fingertips. Gently doming your arms like you could lift just your elbows towards the sky. Feel the depth ahead of your arm bone coming deep into that meat joint that is your shoulder. Notice you might be able to get a little bit more length here. Creeping your fingertips further. Then imagine there's a rubber band around your elbows. It's squeezing them together. Just gently press out. Just gently stretch that rubber band. Feel the space underneath your underarms and you may be able to get a little, a little bit longer through your arms here. Just coming back to your breath. Feeling the natural waves. Notice expansion of your belly. And breath flowing into the back of your ribs like a hot air balloon expanding them towards the sky. With your little awareness elf, just noticing what you're encountering here in your body. What are the sensations? What do you feel? Noticing the flow, the fluctuations in the mind, the thoughts, stories, imagination, the time travel, thinking of the past and the future. How interesting. We do emotional release work and random thoughts come up. It's very likely that those thoughts are in the same little bundle of neurons in the brain as the thing that we're trying to let go of. We get into postures, shapes, stretches, random things come into our mind. It's just as likely that those random thoughts are linked to whatever stretch we're experiencing in the moment. Like it's almost stored in that space in our body.
noticing anything that you're experiencing emotionally, energy in motion, any desires to move, to wiggle, to act. How interesting. Let's see if you can just sit with those without giving into them, just noticing that the urge is there. We can do that here. We can take that out into life in stressful situations rather than reacting, saying something that you're like, oh, I wish I didn't say that. You can begin to just witness it and respond instead. Softening into any unintended tension in your face, your jaw. And coming out of this just as gently as we entered it. Ground it through your palms, using the strength of your arms to lift your hands and knees, You're just pausing there for a moment. Without any movement, without shaking anything out, if we rush out of it too quickly, we lose some of the benefits of that posture. I'm just noticing the after effect, physically, mentally. If you feel inspired to take any movement, even if it makes no sense to you, take that. What is your body asking for? Mine's asking for some cat and cows. So I'm gonna inhale, stretching the mat apart between my knees, lifting my tailbone up high, rolling my shoulders back, lifting my heart up, stretching out my belly. And then exhaling, curling the hips under, pressing the floor away, zipping the belly button up just like the I'm tucking my chin down and my collarbones. Body's asking for a few of these. I invite you to do the same thing. Now, if you're using a mat for this next posture, I invite you to turn 90 degrees to your left or right. So we're facing the uh, long edge of the mat. But if you're in any space that you have space, you don't have to do that. Sitting back towards our child's pose and our butt back towards the heels again. And from here, hands planted, starting to slide your knees nice and wide, as far away from each other as you can get them without any pain inside of the joints, whether that's your knees or your hip joint, coming into a, a shape of a frog. And I really like to pay attention to fascia. So if anything feels bunched up underneath your right knee, then I'd, I'd reach over with the opposite hand and try to unbunch that so your skin is nice and uh, organized rather than under a, a stretch there. Reaching across with both sides, unbunching. Take it a big in breath. And as you exhale, feel free to lay your forearms down onto the mat. Behind you with your feet, your toes could even be pointing towards each other or touching behind you, or you could slide them out to the sides a little bit. You figure out, experiment with that, feel what feels the best, what feels the most beneficial for you. It brings a little bit of discomfort. And before we do any releasing, surrendering, being here, I'm gonna take one little active breath. Imagining that you're in a hallway, facing down the hallway. And there's a wall against your right knee. And there's another wall against your left knee. And as you inhale, I want you to push out into those walls, squeezing your butt. You're trying to slide your legs further apart. And as you exhale, I want you to let go. <sighs> let your body relax. Maybe even bringing your forehead down towards your forearms, your hands. And then laying your chest down to the mat. And coming back to your natural breath.
Just watching the waves of the breath. Allowing them to flow in and out without trying to control them. Noticing anywhere that you're unintentionally contracted, neck, your shoulders, chest, or your jaw. See if you can just surrender, soften into that tissue. Noticing what's coming up for you in your mind and your emotions. How interesting. Noticing any resistance, questioning that starts to creep up. When am I going to release this? When you're ready, planting into your hands. And lift that, lift that torso up. You can come out of this one of two ways. Either slide your knees back together towards our child's pose, or you can lay down to your belly and slide your legs back behind you. You get to pick, making your way down to your belly. From that child's pose, come into a nice tabletop. I'm resisting any urge to move or react or shake any benefits of this out. I'm just pausing here. What do you feel? And when you're ready, we invite you to take any movement that your body's asking for. My body's asking for little fire hydrant circles. So I'm going to. Bring my right knee towards my right forearm without bending my left elbow, lifting my right leg out to the side as high as I can, and then circling it back behind me. I'm going to take three of those. And then I'm going to take the other side. I invite you to do the same.
And if you turned to the side of your mat, I invite you to turn back towards the front of your mat. Make your way down to your belly. Listen to your forehead and the back of your hands for a few moments. This is called a tadpole position. This toe is pointing straight back. Again, doing our little metal finger. Help us try to zip those front ribs in and back. And then sliding your right arm out to a T out to the right hand side. Grounding your right palm to the, to the mat. Creeping the fingertips away, getting a little bit more length through your right shoulder. A little bit of depth by gently doming that right arm like you could just a millimeter left your right elbow towards the sky. And as you inhale, start to roll into your right hand side into a little, little chest stretch. As you exhale, you can sweep your left leg back over the top of your right, planting the sole of your left foot on the mat. Left hand can help you stabilize as you roll into this little open wing shape. Just make sure there's no pinpoint pain inside of your right shoulder or right elbow. If there is, you're going to roll out of this just a little bit. Just find in the, the point that feels right for you. If you feel like you can go deeper, you can take that left hand up to your left ribs. Or even just laying the left arm on your side or reaching it back behind you. Feeling that breath flowing through the left side of your rib cage. That length through the right shoulder. Maybe even down into the right bicep. Relax through your jaw. You don't see anywhere else that you're contracting, holding on to tension. If you feel any strain in your neck, like your head is hanging, you can always take a little pillow, a blanket, roll it up, supporting your head. You need to find a nice neutral neck position here rather than hanging your head. You might even be starting to feel some tinglies through that right arm, some blood flow changes. Starting to notice the difference between discomfort, like, ah, this hurts, this stretches, and it does not feel good, and the pain, which is, ah, this hurts, this is damaging. Discomfort, I'm going to stick with, I'm going to lean into it. For any pain, as we go over that edge, we can come out of it a little bit, finding that edge, making sure we're not doing anything to hurt ourselves.
missing the things that the mind starts to tell you as you go deeper into the discomfort. The energy in motion, those urges in the body to move, to escape, to wiggle. How interesting they are. Trying to let go of any unintended tension. And when you're ready, taking a big in breath. As you exhale, releasing back to your belly. And before you slide that right arm back in, just leave it out there. Feel free to rest your forehead in the back of your left hand. <clears throat> Notice in the after effects in that right arm, that right shoulder, chest. What's happening in the mind, the emotions. Very gently sliding your right hand back in, either underneath your forehead or underneath your right shoulder. And when you're ready, I invite you to take any movement that feels right for you. I'm going to take a little reverse shoulder roll here, reaching my left arm out overhead, just like I did for child's pose. Right arm out to the right hand side, just lifting my right arm up and continuing to lift it. My torso will start to twist till I'm almost pointing the right fingers up at the ceiling, trying to keep my right knee, my right hip down. And then I exhale and then right back down. And sliding my hands back underneath the forehead. When you're ready, taking the same journey on the opposite side, send so your left arm out to a T, like the left hand side, ground in your left palm, and length through the left shoulder. Hello, handy, if you feel like you're going to need it. Right hand grounded underneath your right shoulder as you inhale, starting to roll onto your left hand side. As you exhale, sweeping your right leg back over the top of your left leg, even planting your sole, your right foot on the mat. Right knee could be bent, but that right leg could also be out straight behind you. Using that right hand as a little kickstand. Making sure there's no pinpoint pain inside of your left shoulder, elbow, if there is, then back out of it a little bit. And if you need that little pillow, that blanket, whatever it is, a block to set your, left, your head on, you can say your left head, but you only have one, your left ear. You can do that. And this might be enough. You could also take your right hand up to the right side of your rib cage, or even laying your right arm out on your side. You're reaching it back behind you. Feeling your breath flowing in the right side of your rib cage. Letting go of any unintended tension and contraction. Thinking about where you might be holding on and gripping, contracting unintentionally in other areas of your life. Just 
Just letting your breath breathe you. Now your body releases layers. And if your body's inviting you deeper, feel free to accept that invitation. Noticing the tingly is coming into your the left arm, change in blood flow, change in the delivery of the nerve impulses. How interesting. When you're ready, gently release and take a big in breath. As you exhale, and winding back to center, leaving your left arm out there, resting your forehead in the back of your right hand. Yeah, Reflex in your left arm. Blood flow, the return of sensation. Thoughts or emotions that are just interesting. And take that little movement, whatever you feel inspired to take. Maybe it's that shoulder roll on this side, reaching the right arm out overhead, around it through your left knee, your left hip as you lift the left arm up towards the sky and pointing the fingertips up towards the sky a little shoulder roll and then exhale and coming back down and out of it and sliding those hands underneath your forehead you can feel your breaths here taking your time when you feel ready Leading back in child's pose, and your butt back towards your heels, and your belly down over your thighs, keeping your arms out long overhead. And then bringing yourself forward to hands and knees, tabletop. And from here, we're going to take a long tabletop, taking your hands, one hand print forward, your knees, one knee print back. Step in your left foot back, taking a single leg plank with your left leg, toes dug under, stretching back through your left heel, left knee lifted, pressing through both 
hands enough to even float your right knee up off the mat. And then sweeping your right knee to the outside of your right wrist, sweeping your right ankle towards your left wrist without grabbing that leg and torquing it up there. So that shin is almost perpendicular to the mat, parallel to the front of the mat. It's okay if it's not perfect. It's about the direction, not the destination. Point your left toes straight back and pressing into the top of your left foot hard enough to start feeling your left glute, your left leg working. Pressing down into the mat with your right shin, feel that right hip working. It's almost like the legs are strong and lifting you up. Also imagine that you could pull your right leg bone back into your right hip. Tall through your torso, big in breath. And as you exhale, and if you can slide back into your left leg a little bit without slouching into your right or left hip, deepening into this shape. Get another big in breath. And as you exhale, I invite you to start folding forward over your right shin, even bringing your forearms down to the mat. Doing what we call putting your pigeon to rest. Keeping that gentle pressure, pressing down to the top of your left foot, down to your right shin. Trying to keep your tail untucked. We don't wanna run away in fear and tuck in our tailbone between our legs. We wanna gently lift it up, nice, confident, happy tail. Long through the spine. Relax through your mouth. Notice anywhere that you're carrying unintended tension, your neck, your shoulders, anywhere else. See if you can soften into that. Noticing the deeper effects in the mind and the emotions. How interesting. Maybe you feel like you can then lay your forehead down on the back of your hands, or maybe not. Just taking the depth of shape that feels right for you today. In that progress far outweighs perfection, that direction far outweighs the destination. And that's our practice that makes improvement. Staying with those natural waves of breath. Noticing the mind's telling you stories. Maybe it's telling you that you could quit. You could come out of this. That's okay. Maybe the body, that energy in motion is telling you, hey, this is uncomfortable. We could wiggle into this and distract ourselves. Even if you can withhold the desire to react to those things. You can just be here in the fire.
And if you're being invited deeper, and you feel a little courageous, you can accept that invitation as long as we keep our gentle activation, a little press through the top of your back foot, through your right shin or length through the spine, we're staying out of any sagging in the hips. When you're ready, plant in your hands. Inhaling to lift your torso upright. Digging your left toes under and exhale to sweep your right knee back to meet your left to that tabletop. And pause here. No reactions. No shaking out the benefits. Just notice the after effect. And when you're ready, if you're inspired to take any particular movement, I invite you to do that now. I'm going to take fire hydrants again, just go in the opposite direction. Let's send the leg up behind, circling around to the side without bending into the left elbow, and then bringing it underneath the body. My body's asking for three of these. You can settle in back into tabletop when you are ready. And taking another long tabletop, hands, one hand print forward, knees walking, one knee print back. Stepping your right foot back into a single leg plank, stretching back through your right heel, toes dug under, knee lifted. Pressing through your hands, floating your left knee up, and then sweeping your left knee to the outside of your left wrist and your left ankle towards your right wrist without grabbing it with your hands. It might be, might not really be rotated at all. That's okay. Or your shin might be parallel to the front of the mat. Both are good. Pointing your right toes straight back, press into the top of your right foot, feel your right glute working. Press down into your left shin, feel the left hip working. Inhale, length through your torso, chest lifted. And as you exhale, maybe you slide the right leg back a little bit, deepening into the left hip, that shape, that length, without sagging into your left or right hip. Another big inhale, and as you exhale, I invite you to start hinging over your left shin. Maybe bringing your forearms down to the mat. It's coming back to your natural flow of breath. There's how one side of the body can be completely different than the other. How interesting. Maybe you decide to rest your forehead down. Still keeping that gentle activation to preserve your alignment. Notice if you're crunching up into your left side obliques or right side, seeing if you can find length there. Letting your breath breathe. Let go of any unintended tension, any contraction, where you're holding on, trying to control. Maybe 
it's in your neck and shoulders, maybe it's somewhere else. Noticing those urges, just welcoming them. Thanks for being here. When you're ready, gently planting your hands to the mat, inhaling your torso upright, digging your right toes under to so release the pressure on your right knee, and sweeping your left knee back to meet your right and your tabletop, withholding any reactions, any wiggles in the body, just noticing the after effects. And then if any movement feels right, taking what you feel inspired to take. If you're going to take some reverse fire hydrant circles again, feel free to take them. Lifting that left leg up behind you, circling around to the left-hand side without bending into your right elbow. And then circling it back underneath your body. And once you've done that, settling back into tabletop, Gently making your way onto your butt and then onto your back. We integrate this entire practice. <sighs> if it feels right, gently hugging your knees in towards your chest, giving them a big old hug. You want to roll into your back a little bit. Taking a big in breath. As you exhale, releasing your legs out long beneath you, your arms out to the sides. Coming into our final posture of the day, Shavasana. Again, one big breath here. Let it go in any way that helps you release stress. <sighs> now your eyes to close, it feels right. Coming back to your natural flow of breath. Mm. 
You're seeing the after effect of this entire practice. And like gravity is pulling you down with just a little bit more force. And allowing yourself to float away on those waves of breath. When you're ready, bring yourself back into your body with a big breath. Let it go. Reaching your arms out overhead, taking a big in-breath, stretching from fingertips to toes. As you exhale, giving yourself a big hug again, pulling your knees into your chest. Rolling onto your right hand side into a fetal position and supporting your head with that bottom arm or with both hands, just resting here for a few moments. Feeling the blood flow flowing, or not the blood flow, but the breath <laughs> flowing to the left side of your ribs. We're seeing where you feel blood flow. We're seeing the heaviness of your body. Only when you are ready, making your way up to a seated position, closing this practice. Hey guys. Take in any seated position. Pressing gently the floor away with your legs, breathing length into your torso. Inhale and reaching your arms out to the sides and all the way up overhead, taking a big stretch. As we exhale, bringing your palms together into heart center, just that touch itself at our heart starts to bring us into coherence in our nervous system. As we say in yoga, I see you in myself, I see myself in you. Namaste. Thanks for being here today. Good luck implementing this in your week. See if you can carry this feeling with you throughout the entire day. This has really been a celebration of the reset challenge, but taking this any way that it, it comes to you, my challenge for you is to take a few postures that feel really good in your body this week and to practice them for five minutes at a time. We just spent the, the last week doing seven days of reset yoga, and you got 14 plus postures that you could take and make your own personalized class like this. And that's it. Feel free to say hello afterwards, drop any comments, DMs, let me know how it felt for you and you have an awesome day.